Allison with Bloom Culture Flowers and in today's tutorial we are going to talk about signage and how to put flowers on a flat piece of canvas or a frame or whatever um, signage you might have at your wedding. Now there's a couple ways to do this. One hack of ours is to use what's called a pew marker. It is just a little plastic clip with some foam inside and just like with all of our tutorials you'll soak the foam and you can clip it to the flat piece of signage and then create your design out of that. Another thing that you can do to attach flowers to a flat surface is get one of the floral foam bricks and cut it down to size. You don't want to use an entire brick, but once you've cut it down to your desired size, maybe about a third of the brick, you can wrap it in chicken wire. And then once you've done that, you can get 3M hooks and just attach it to any part of your canvas or flat surface that you like, make sure that it's gonna be able to hold some weight. It doesn't need to be able to hold 50 pounds, but about five pounds, 10 pounds, just, just to make sure that it's not gonna slip and go anywhere. So once you've attached your 3M hooks, then you attach your chicken wire floral foam concoction. You can just hang it on that wherever you like on your flat surface. Another option would be, again, to use a 3M hook and then use one of these floral cages. Um, this is a grand igloo from Oasis. And then you can again, just attach this wherever you want on your, um, on your signage, just using a 3M hook. I will say that sometimes the stickiness of the 3M hook doesn't work as great as I would like it to. Um, so that's why I'm gonna go with the clamp that we're gonna be using today. Okay, so getting started, um, you will soak the floral foam in water. Again, just gently set it in the water and it will submerge itself, don't push it down. And then just clip it to the canvas or to the signage where you see fit. I'm gonna probably do something a little bit asymmetrical on this design, so I might move it in a little bit more. With these designs, I tend to start a little bit backwards than how I typically approach other floral designs. So with smaller, more accent pieces, I typically like to start with the focal flowers first. That way I'm not trying to wedge them in or find room for them after I've placed all of the greenery um, and everything else before it. So with these, I start with our focal flowers. Starting with a few of our roses, I am going to make sure that the stem length isn't too long. So I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit more and I'm gonna place it right there. Again, this is a really small design, so you're going to have to work a little bit on your stem length to get it right, to get it how you feel comfortable with it. But there, I think that's, that's a good insertion point. So see how large that is on this small piece of foam? So I typically only use one or two of our roses or focal flowers just so that it doesn't get overwhelmed and that there's other rooms for other detail flowers. I typically give them a quick spin before I place them, like usual. I'm gonna trim the stem off of this one and gently place this kind of coming out of that. So once I have the focal flowers, then I typically move on to our greenery. Working with kind of an asymmetrical design here, I don't want it to feel too balanced. So I'm gonna start adding in little pieces of greenery here and there that I think will fit. Again, always take a step back. Sometimes I'm designing it from the side, but I need to take a step back and look at it head on too. One thing to note is that this will drip. So make sure that whatever that you are putting it on has, if you need to cover it, cover it up, or that it's water resistant because foam always drips a little bit when you initially start working with it. Remember, you don't want to cover up what you want people to read. So I might move that one. Maybe that's going to be a good one for us. This is another design that's really great for leather leaf because you can break down the pieces of leather leaf and use the small individual um, offshoots. And it's really great for filling in small pieces or small designs like this. So literally one piece of leather leaf can go a long way for this design. When placing greenery, even on a smaller design, I still like to approach it with the background, middle ground, foreground, like we had talked about in some of our previous 
um, tutorials. That way you're making sure that you're getting everything covered and that it doesn't feel super packed at the front, that there's some depth and dimension to it. The next greenery I'm going to be using is the Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. I will say that in some designs, the Silver Dollar Eucalyptus has such big, broad leaves that it can overpower the design. So in a smaller design like this one, I recommend kind of searching through the bunch and finding just branches that have maybe a little bit of a smaller scale leaf so that it's not so overpowering. I break these down quite a bit for a small design like this. Um, I don't want it to stand out too much. I'm just trying to cover some mechanics and add a different scale and a different color of greenery. Since the Silver Dollar Eucalyptus can be a little bit more, I would say fluttery, or there's a little bit more movement to it, I think it's okay to kind of dip down a little bit into your um, signage, but not necessarily covering it up. Next, I'm gonna be using some of these mini carnations. Um, I absolutely love these little guys. They have such a great look to them. They're very airy and light, and they just add a really beautiful scale to pretty much any design. But for this design, it's gonna be really great because you'll be able to break off individual blooms and they'll make a huge impact on such a small space. kind of see that I'm working a little bit of a diagonal right here. So don't be afraid to keep your stem length a little bit long on some of these, but also don't be afraid to come in and tuck some of those in here and there as well. All right, I'm going to use um, a couple of our line flowers. With these, they're so big, I'm not just going to use this long of a stem or this long of a piece in this design. So I'm going to cut it down and break it down. You can even, just like we do with our sprays, break off individual blooms. Just when you break them off, make sure that you give them a clean cut right here so that they can absorb the water that's in the floral foam. But this way you can add little pops of blue throughout the design and you're not having to have this big rigid stem sticking throughout it, but it also is cohesive with the rest of the color palette throughout the wedding. I like to find kind of a point where the blooms aren't sticking out and that's where I like to cut it. So I'll have this piece and this piece to work with. So I've saved some of the blooms that I took off of these stems, so I'm going to move on to our next flower, but I'm going to hang on to these so that I can go back at the end and kind of backfill with this beautiful blue color. All right, I'm going to move on to these beautiful terracotta carnations. Um, again, this is such a small design that I don't think that we're going to be using a ton of these but I think that this color is going to be absolutely beautiful. Kind of matches our, um, our signage here. I think we're getting close to being done, but I still see some areas that might need some floral to it. Um, we also have some of our pink color that we need to add in there with the carnations. And then I think I'm probably going to go back in with a few more of the spray carnations. Again, the great thing about these designs is they have a high impact, but they don't have a high floral count to them. So you can make a statement piece without it having to be so grand and requiring a ton of time and a ton of your budget. These things really um, are highly versatile. Um, one thing I really like about the clamp is that you can take it off and move it somewhere else. So if you have it at your ceremony, you can take the clamp off of the ceremony signage and move it to your reception signage. It's really versatile and it really gives you a great bang for your buck. Okay, like I said, I'm going to go back in with some of our spray carnations. I only used one stem, which is about three or four blooms, so we still have some in the recipe, so I'm going to go ahead and backfill with those. Again, snipping these down into little individual shorter stems makes them way more manageable. So 
I think it might be nice to add some more length to this design so that it kind of reaches out and hangs over the top of it um, and then maybe reaches out into some of this negative space over here. One thing I will say is that you can still see the top of the clamp, so I'm probably gonna come in here and add some more greenery to cover that up. Again, I don't want it to be too heavy. And I think we're kind of borderlining on the heaviness right now. So I think what I might do is add a little bit more of the long greenery right here, cover that up and add some wax flour. So good plan. <music> right there. I think I'm just going to go in and directly cover it up. There we go. Okay, I think that we are so close to being done. I'm just going to add a few sprays of wax flower and we're going to be all done with our signage flowers. Again, you're going to have to kind of weave a little bit into your design and I think that that's a good sign that you've covered up the majority of your mechanics um, and things that you want to have covered. Okay guys, that is it. It is that easy and simple, just adding a few of your blooms and greenery. It does take a little bit of time and attention to detail, but overall it's a really easy design to do. It's a really easy approach. And like I said before, you can reuse it somewhere else. So a lot of bang for your buck, not a ton of flowers, not a ton of greenery, and not a ton of time. So I hope that this helped you guys figure out how to put flowers on flat surfaces. And like I said earlier in the tutorial, you can always use 3M hooks. Just make sure that they can hold a little bit of weight. Again, the pew marker that I've used here, the hack, it's just a lot easier because it's a clamp and it can wrap around the back of something. And you can also easily move it back and forth if you want to. But like I said, I think that this design is really impactful and beautiful, and I hope that you're going to be able to use it for your designs at your wedding too. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can always email me at hello at bloomcultureflowers.com. And again, I'm Allison with bloomcultureflowers.com, and thank you so much for watching.